This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at Transformers, Hugging Face Transformers, most boldest feature as of now, Transformer Agents. So Transformer Agents are AI agents which can perform various multimodal tasks like text to speech, speech to text, image generation, video, audio, docs. Okay. Uh, so in this tweet, what they say is that, uh, how does this work? So basically you are creating an AI agent using large language models, which could be open assistant, star coder, open AI. And then you can start talking to transformers and diffusers, right? It can respond to complex queries and it also offers a chat mode. So you can create images using words, have agent read the summary of websites, read through a PDF. So you can perform various tasks. Right, like draw me a picture of rivers, lakes and trees. You can transform the image over here, right? The image which has been generated, you can transform it over here, a frozen lake and snowy forest and you can read out the content of the image. Okay, so how does it work in uh, practice? It is straightforward prompt building. Tell the agent what it aims to do, give it tools, show examples, give it a task, right? It uses chain of thought reasoning to identify the agent uses chain of thought reasoning to identify its task and outputs Python code using the tools. Okay. So you have an instruction like this, read out loud the content of the image. Uh, based on that, you generate a prompt. Basically, um, you know, this is the prompt, uh, building which happens. Uh, so the prompt building is this, I will ask you to perform a task. Your job is to come up with a series of simple commands in Python that will perform the task. You can print intermediate results if it makes sense to do so. Here are the tools which are available. Example of task, task read out loud the content of the image, right? And this is given as an agent. Now the agent creates this prompt which says, I will use the image captioner to caption the image and text to speech to read it loud. And based on that, it generates this particular Python code, which runs on a restricted Python interpreter to perform the task. Okay. So that is the idea over here. So it comes in with a lot of built-in tools like document question answering, speech to text, text to speech, text classification, summarization, translation, download, question answering, image generation, transforms, captioning, segmentation, upscaling, right? Text to video. It is also extensible by design. So the tools should have a name, a description and a function. Okay. You can also design a tool and pushing, uh, you can push it to hub. It can be done in a few lines. So they have the documentation and they also have a collab notebook, which you can actually try it out. Okay. So I tried out this uh, particular collab notebook. I did not make any changes in the code. Uh, so for this, you require a hugging face hub token to log in over here, right? Once the login is successful for the agent over here, I am trying to create the agent using the open a API key. Uh, so this is the code, right? If agent name is equal to open AI key, then do this transformer tools, import open AI agent, get the password. So I, I give the input as the open API key over here. The model uses text DaVinci 003 for this large language, open AI, what you call agent over here, but you can also make use of other, uh, agents over here. Currently uh, you have this open assistant star coder, but other agents also can be used in the future. That's my understanding over here. Okay. So what you can do with the agent. So once an agent is initialized, you can generate an image of boat in the water. So basically this is an image generation. So the agent explains over here that I will use the following tool image generator to generate an image according to the prompt. Okay. Uh, so based on that, it generates over here. Okay. So what is the prompt over here? Image. Uh, so the prompt is a boat in the water. Okay. So based on that, it actually now generates this particular image over here, right? This is using stable diffusion model. Now you can use the agent to actually caption the image by passing this image. Can you caption the boat image? Okay. And the image is this particular image. It says that I will use the following tool image captioner to generate a caption for the image. And it has generated a caption, a boat floating in the water. Similarly, you can do, can you generate an image of a boat? Please read out loud the contents of the image afterwards. So there is this image generation, which happens then text reader to read out the contents of the image, but you also need the caption of the generation, which needs to be done. So if you look at the code over here, image generator, image captioner, and then text reader. Okay. So this is the code, which is generated by the agent as shown over here, right? 
as shown over here. So the agent generates this code, okay, and runs that on the limited interpreter, okay. So this is like uh, chat GPT with code interpreter plugins plus a lot of other plugins, okay. And here is the uh, audio which has been generated. A small boat floating in the water. Okay. Then there are tasks like you can read out the summary of a particular website. So for this case, what it does is that it fetches the website, right, using text downloader tool and then using summarizer tool to summarize the text and then text reader to, you know, read the text. Okay. So it says that I will use the following tools, text downloader, summarizer and text reader. Okay. And then it generates a summary over here. Hugging face is AI community. So it basically downloaded that page and then it generated a summary and you can actually, Brilliant. you know, it reads Hugs out the summary. To all male models. That's an I community. Hugging face is an I community building the future. More than I organizations are using. So it is basically reading out this summary. Okay. So till now we saw the run mode of the agent using the run command, but you also have chat. So the difference between the two is relative to their memory. Run does not keep memory across runs. So each call is a different operation basically, whereas chat keeps memory across runs, but performs better at single instructions. Run performs better for multiple operations at once, such as running two or three tools in a row. Okay. So here is an agent with the chat mode. It's a, uh, here we say, show me an image of a capybara. It generates this particular image. So again, using stable diffusion. And then you can actually transform the image so that it knows. So in this case, it transforms the image, but it has this image in memory. That's the key thing over here. So this is in the chat mode. Okay. So now if you want to remove the capybara in favor of something else, we can get a mask of the capybara and then you can replace it. Okay. So here it makes use of the image segmenter. Okay. In the previous case, it made, uh, made use of image transformer image generator in the, uh, in the first case, image transformer, and here it is image segmenter. Okay. So now what models are used for this uh, tools, right? So it can do document question answering using donut, which is given a document in an image format, answer a question on this document, text question answering using flan T5, given a long text and a question, answer the question in the text, uh, image captioning using blip, image question answering using VILT, uh, image segmentation using clip seg. You can also replace this maybe in the future with, uh, you know, meta SAM segment anything model. Speech to text using uh, whisper, text to speech using speech T5, zero short text classification using BART, text summarization using BART and translation using NLLB. So it is making use of these tools. Okay. They also support community based tools like text downloader, text to image, generate an image using stable diffusion, image transformation, right? You can also add new uh, tools uh, in a very simple way. So they have given the code over here. I would suggest you go and check it out. So basically every tool should have an attribute name, which corresponds to the name of the tool itself, right? an attribute description, which will populate the prompt of the agent. So text description of the agent, then input and output attributes. Uh, so this will help Python interpreter make educated choices about types, which will allow for a Gradio based demo to be spanned when we push the tool to hub, right? And then a call method, which contains the inference code. Okay. So that is a minimum requirement for you are creating a new tool. That's the idea. And then what you can do is that when you are instantiating an agent, you can add this additional tool once you have pushed this tool into the hub, All right? So basically this is how you are actually uh, creating that. You are creating a new tool. So this is an extensible design, okay? So this is quite revolutionary because this gives a nice alternative to chat GPT with plugins. And uh, you can make use of the different open source tools over here to perform various tasks. So this is quite interesting. Uh, so this was a short video on Hugging Face Transformer agents. So if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting the link of this, uh, you know, documentation of Transformers agent uh, and uh, this collab notebook in the description of the video. You can check it out. See you in another video.